Hi and welcome in this video, it's Sylvain Favre and Maxime Akar and today we will show you our top 5 of the best new features in Cinema 4D R20. I hope you will like this video and see you soon on the Motion Designers community. Wow. One of the best features of this new release R20 is the Volume Builder and Volume Measure. You will be able to merge together some shapes. You have three options, Union, Subtract and Intersect. So I use basically here a sphere and I subtract a tube. It's working with symmetry, with boolean, with colonel, and um, you can have some folder. So for example, here I use a tube and a sphere in intersect mode. And this folder, this new shape, I union it with my sphere to create this panel here. So now it's very, very easy to create uh, some extra shape on a sphere like this cylinder and I added another cylinder, etc, etc. You can do everything you want. It's very cool. I will show you how it works. So uh, I will load a cube here and I will load a sphere. I want a boolean operation, but I need a very nice bevel, okay? So I will use the volume builder first. I punt my shapes in as, as a child. Okay, and now I have some voxels. You can see huge cubes. Uh, so you have to decrease the voxel size to have better definitions. I will increase the number of segments to have something more smooth. smooth. And uh, in the volume builder, I can choose my mode, union, subtract, or intersect. And you can move objects. And it's working very, very well. Now, if I need up, subtract, and you can add all object you want. For example, another cube just here in the volume builder, make it in subtract. Okay, it's working very well. Now I need a geometry to put my texture on it. So I will put my volume builder in a volume measure. And now I have some polygons. To have better bevel, you can use a smooth layer and a reshape layer. Okay, I will decrease the voxel distance and the offset. And for the final render, I just have to decrease the voxel size, like one centimeter. And you have a very, very cool, cool shape. And you can animate it with nice bevel everywhere. And you just have to put your textures on it and yeah, it's working very well. So um, I will continue to try to create some things with uh, this uh, volume builder and measure and you will have more tutorials on this channel very soon. Hope you like these features. Hey guys, something new and really exciting in Cinema 4D R20 is the new field. If you see the name field under create, you may ask what it is. It's the new field that you will found under the effector. For example, I have a simple setup with a cloner. Let's click on my cloner and add a simple random effector. Right now, if I go on the fall off, you see that we have some change in the system. I will explain it uh, quite shortly. It's like the layer system. So you can add many different field objects. You can add field layers. You can add modifiers like a delay. Yeah, a delay inside the effector. And you can also group them. Okay, let's take, for example, the really famous spherical field. You see right now that I have a new object right there. If I move my random effector, you see that my field is moving. And I can also move my field because right now I will be able to combine as many fields as I want and play with blending modes, okay? If I go on my field or on the random and the fall off, I can click on any field and have all the special options. So I will find the layer opacity, 
blending mode, the size of the field, and also the remapping. So nothing change, um, it's only better. So I can change the inner offset. And you see, I have a nice curve to let me know what's the remapping. Right now, I'm able to add any kind of other field and play with their position, for example. And also play with the different type of mode. You see, I can have some change. So I will be able with all the blending mode, all the options that you can find right there, all the options that you will find there, and the effects make really, really complex things. For example, I have the, the new delay effect. It's different than the um, MoGraph effect or delay because that's a delay uh, that you have on your field. So let's add a delay. Okay. So you see my delay is right there. It's not an effector. I only have my random effector. And I will be able to play with the smooth option or spring option. So increase the strength to see something. I will move the position right there. Let's create a keyframe at the beginning. And let's create a keyframe a few frames after. And you will see that it will perform a nice smoothing. Everything runs smoothly. I can also change the mode, go to spring, maybe lower the intensity and hit play. And I have some kind of spring effect. I have a lot of spring uh, and I have a lot of effect, not spring effect. I can clamp, I can colorize, I can play, uh, I can freeze my particles. So you can imagine the crazy amount of things that you will be able to do with the new fall off inside Cinema 4D. That's one of my uh, favorite new feature because uh, I feel that uh, with some tweaking we will be able to create a lot of amazing things. And of course we can create a folder and uh, add anything inside the folder like uh, in the layer system. I can also play with this, and so it's kinda infinite. Hope you enjoy this new feature of Cinema 4D, guys. Materials are rebuilt, so now they are very awesome. You have a node editor. Uh, for me, it's very, very nice because um, I always use it with Octane or Houdini or Realflow or Cycle 40 or ev every other um, render engine use Node Editor and uh, it's very, very nice. So uh, I will show you uh, one of my basic material of a car paint. So I double click on it and now I have a new uh, panel. In this panel, I can uh, add some nodes and plug them together to create my own material. You'll be able to create, um, to merge a different material like Diffuse, Anisotropic, Backman, and merge them together to have a very good, uh, very good material, very complex, very easily. Don't be afraid. Uh, one of the best things for this node editor is the number of assets. As you can see, you have so many features for this node editor. Don't be afraid, because if you want a color, you can search here, color. And I have all assets about color. So I can blend my color, okay? I can create a color, I can have a color correction, etc., etc. So uh, when you want to play with color, you just have to tap color and you can have some new ideas. If uh, you want a noise, you tap noise and very quickly you will find all noise assets. And you have the basic noise. Okay, so I think you recognize uh, this, this node. You have a scratches one, you have complex noise. And it's very awesome because, as you can see, now you can play with the octaves, seeds, 
lacunarity, gain, etc., etc., with, for example, a northern noise or an image you can plug in, etc., etc. So uh, you have so many, so many possibilities with this node editor, and it's uh, very, very cool. And you can zoom out. <sighs> wow, have fun with that, guys. Okay, so I really like this new uh, new material. I find by default the render with, uh, for example, the U-burn material is uh, is very uh, is very cool. Uh, you do not need uh, global illumination, I guess. It's like the new material in the nine uh, nineteen R nineteen. Okay, you have uh, nice reflections. It's uh, it's very good. One new crazy feature of Cinema 4D R20 is the multi-instance mode. What is a multi-instance? Multi-instance is like an instance but optimized. It means that you will be able to use more instance because it takes less memory. It can sound a bit like the skater that you have in Octane, but you will be able to use all the power of the Cinema 4D cloner object. Let's see what's new. You will find the mod in the instance object, instance mode, you will be able to see the multi instance, but you will also find this directly with the new cloner object that, that you find there. So let's take the cloner, instance mode, multi instance. Notice that uh, this cloner is also the cloner that you will find under the MoGraph. So if you want to have more information, do not forget that at any moment you can right click and go to show help you will have a small speech of what is the current uh, setting and for example why uh, it's still useful sometimes to use the older instance mode sometimes it's more safe okay let's clone a huge amount of object i have here my landscape and i want to clone a lot of cylinders can be trees or, or anything let's go set it to object mode object landscape that's not enough for me just perform a small um, transformation okay just this and here you can save memory by changing the viewport mode so go to points and increase a bit the number that's not enough for me sounds sounds nice but what about 10 times more I never go this far in uh, Cinema 4D by the past. See the huge amount of cloners and it will just render. Okay, it will take a bit more time to render because we have more objects, but that's crazy. We will be able to do crazy MoGraph things or populate a lot of trees and create amazing landscape with the new, this new feature. I hope you guys enjoy it because that's one of my favorite new feature. I think all the features are my favorite new feature. See you for the next feature. One new very useful feature that we ask for a long time is the alembic baking. Sometimes you do simulation, sometimes you have character animation and you have more and more animation that takes a lot of time inside Cinema 4D. You want to bake them, that's pretty uh, tricky because uh, you need to export it sometime with a plugin you need to re-import it that's painful right now this is a simple feature but amazing one you will find under the mesh option the possibility to convert anything inside alambic and you can bake as alambic please delete so it will save you an alambic sequence so only one file point abc and load it directly inside Cinema 4D. For example, I have a cloner with sphere and a simulation. Okay, basic setting, that's nice. And I want to bake it. So I just need to click on my cloner, mesh, conversion, bake as alambic. I can also only uh, bake as alambic and not delete the scene, but I will click on delete. Let's select a pass. For example, I will select my uh, cage and I will wait a bit and I will have my file saved with all my simulation and baking is really important when you do simulation or kind of everything because you do not want to 
uh, recalculate everything. Here, what I have, so you will see a bit <laughs> my cage folder. Um, I have this new file co called cloner.abc that um, have all the info about my uh, sim. I have a new alembic and all uh, my sequence and I can uh, remap everything. So that's really nice and really useful. That's one of my favorite features. And I think I have tell this for all the features because all the new features are really useful. Uh, I mean, the users were waiting this kind of features for a long time. Thanks a lot, Maxon, uh, to make it real because Cinema 4D is my favorite uh, software for years. And I want to stay because all these new kind of things are super cool to work with. Thank you, Maxon. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time for very exciting news and complete tutorials about the new feature of Cinema 4D Air 20. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I invite you to check out our Facebook group called Motion Designers Community. This is a really nice group where you can share your render, find the latest tutorials and meet people from the community. If you're into meeting people from the community, you must know that sometimes we do uh, physical events. We are going to do our third meetup in London. So if you want to check it, uh, just uh, follow the community and you will find the links and see what's happening to meet uh, real people from the community. Also, if you liked our work, you can follow us on Beyond or on Instagram, MHS Pod. You can watch what we are doing uh, for pleasure or for professional work. And of course, we have a page, uh, Instagram page called Motion Designers, where we share uh, everyday great renders from the community. You can participate uh, by using the hashtag MDCommunity. I go through all the hashtag and I repost uh, every day uh, six to nine, six to nine uh, renders. Hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy your sexy French accent and see you next time for more videos and enjoy this new version of Cinema 4D which is really amazing. See you next time guys.